Hey guys, this is Van Slam again, and I'm out on my CT125, and um, it's raining. <laughs> so, I hope everyone has had a happy new year. Merry Christmas and a happy new year, happy holidays. Today is January 1st, 2021, a new year. And I'm out on my CT25 in the drizzle, probably gonna pour as always. Uh, trying to find out what I can wear. I gotta to wear to ride this bike in the cold weather. Now I don't have my I don't have my cold winter clothes or rather electric vest from my uh, gold wing because I haven't set up the electric plug here yet um, yeah so kind of stuck with that and uh, whoo I've got three bars of gas I'm down to half a tank at 74 miles so with that said, I should get about 150 miles to a tank full, which is what I would expect, because you get 100 to a gallon, gallon point four, probably 50 miles, maybe less. Anyway, I know what I do have to get. I have to get a baklava, one of those face coverings, because I still feel the um, cold air coming around through my neck area. Now, I'll give you a breakdown of what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my famous flannel jeans. I've got a long sleeve shirt turtleneck on. I've got a sweater on. I've got a um, coverall, insulated coverall on. And I've got um, insulated coveralls on. And I've got my riding coat, my winter riding coat. And I'm doing 47 miles an hour. And it's raining and I can start to feel the wetness. I don't know how cold it is while I'm riding. With wind, with wind, whatever. So yeah. Um, but I'm trying to find something comfortable to wear. I mean my chest is warmer than before. Uh, my hands are warmer because I'm wearing ski gloves, but I still can feel the uh, cold air starting to come through. And uh, I don't know if I have droplets on the camera yet, but yeah, it's kind of lightly drizzling. and So that makes it a little bit colder than it actually is. And it's windy, so that adds uh, more to the um, wind calculations there. Uh, but what the heck, you know, you only live once. Oh, here's another thing. Um, I forgot to ask you guys, or I don't know if I asked you guys in my other video, but it's the shifter. Um, I see people talking and complaining about the, the rear shifter being too high or too low or hitting your boot or... I don't know. I mean, I shift with the front of my foot, so my foot is on the peg mid and the insole. What is this? Insole? Instep? In the middle of the foot. So I don't have a problem hitting anything. I don't hit my starter. So I don't know how you guys are riding or you're just looking. These guys are reviewing and they saw someone else say it. So they say it or they sit on it. And I don't know, man. I, I'm, it's a miracle. I fit this bike. I don't have risers on it. Uh, but then again, it's, it's part of my theory. I'm tired of spending all, these money, all this money on upgrading bikes and then getting rid of them and losing all that money. So... What I do is, I just, uh, <laughs> I don't do anything to it. I put gas, I change the oil, and that's all I do with my bikes. That's all I do with my bikes. A shooting range, oh, they got a shooting range out here. I'm in Assapang Park. There's a boat basin. There's a shooting range, shotgun only. There is a um, bow and arrow range. Uh, up here there's a dirt bike range. I'm going to go to the boat, to the, to the lake where the boats launch at.
There you go. There you go. Ah. Now I used to ride my KLR back here on these trails. That one there. I don't want to get my bike dirty. <laughs> but anyway. It's a little putt foot bike. It's fun. I like it a lot. This is what what's up here? Don't ask me where that car came from. <laughs> yeah, it's mud. Yeah, so it's a trail. A CT125 is a trail bike. Ooh, you can feel that back end scrolling. The CT25 is a trail bike, so I'm riding on a trail. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ooh. First gear is too low. Uh, this is kind of fun. Bumpy. Guess you get off the bike. Um, lots of ruts. Uh, I gotta pick my nose. Uh. Oof. Okay, cool. That's good. So you don't want to be sitting down on this bad boy. Because you're going to get bucked off. Whee! Oh, people must come back here with their Range Rovers and ride around. Da, da, da. So how we get out of here? How we get out of here? Da, da, da. Up. So, what is that from? That's from my heel hitting. That was from my heel hitting the uh, back of the shifter. <laughs> Oof. Okay. There are a lot of trails. Oof. So like I said, with riding certain speeds, you can ride this any way you want. Yeah, woof woof.
it's just too cold but anyway ct125 it works what i found out with trails is that the tires are useless i get it but guess what i won't be on trails that much or if i will i'm not going at hyper speed to get there and do things that everybody else does so i'm cool Like, I'm not going to go too far off in a trail. This is one, this is not a dirt bike. If I'm a dirt bike, I wouldn't care. Um, yeah, I really wouldn't care. But um, I'm not going to do it on the CT125 in the rain. And my knees are all wet. They are all wet. And that's from the rain, of course. And I'm not going to go down that trail because these guys are shooting guns. I know this is a muddy trail to the right. And I don't want to go there. And I know that that trail up front is even worse. I've gone through that a couple times. On dirt bikes though. Yeah, so I'll be just fishtailing. The whole time. I mean, I'm going to do it probably in the summer or fall. When some of my friends are coming out for rides, this way we can laugh about me falling all over the place and slipping all over the place in my Honda CT125. What are we up to? Still up to three bars, half a tank, 85 miles, or 84 miles if you looked at it. Oh, this baby can cook, man. We're catching up to this car. This is the second time I've been in the rain on this scooter. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna head home. I don't wanna get caught in another downpour like I did last time. Now I'm in fourth gear and I went all the way down to 25. And this scooter pulled in fourth gear out of 25. So that's all cool. That's a lot of, I guess it has a lot of torque. It has torque for what its size is anyway, um, which is really cool. It's getting cold out because of the water and the, the humidity and the water. This is pretty much 100% 100, 100 humidity when it rains, right? <laughs> so it's like 30 something, 32 degrees out, 35 degrees out. And we're riding at 41 miles an hour. Do the calculation. It's 20 degrees below zero. But I will tell you what I'm wearing, this insulated um, coverall makes a big difference compared to not wearing it last time I mean I'm still cold I'm just not as cold <laughs> and that all makes sense um, yeah my fingers are still colder or cold not as cold either but I think mittens would work better um, for sure maybe a, a pair of electric gloves Ew, dare I be so bold and I gotta get something for my head to cover my ears those bakl baklavas or you know what I'm saying, the hoods that cover your mouth and only let your eyeballs out, which are in style. Oh wait, Home Depot. Excuse me again, I'm burping. Uh, Home Depot around, around me, I think has those on sale. So I think I'm gonna get one. I think I'm gonna get one of those. I think that'll work. Yeah. I'll put that on my head. Cause I don't know where my other two are. You know, it's those things that they just disappear on motorcycles. We're pulling you in, little by little. 46. We're going uphill. We're going uphill. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Go. Oh. We only lost three miles an hour climbing that hill. We're getting it back. We're reeling him in. Yes. Oh, baby. We got him now. We got him now. We're doing 49, 48. I'm just not putting the throttle all the way back because that's silly. I'm still breaking in my engine. Oh, I found out the zero to 60 time on this scooter. Never happens. <laughs> all right. 